I'm Adam Collins, this is Crick Buzz Centre Stage and I've located the last piece of light left in Old Trafford before we hit the road and what a final day of the group stage it was here in Manchester. Australia needed to beat South Africa who've been ordinary throughout the tournament to secure top spot and they were not able to do it. They are ropey with the ball. South Africa took full advantage. The captain, Faf Duplessis, it may very well be his final one day international, but if it is, he signed off in style with a century. Rassi van der Dussen was equally brilliant with 95, holding out from the final ball of the innings. They made their way to 325, setting Australia 326 for the victory. It was the sort of day when you think, what if? What if they bowled that way earlier in the tournament? What if they batted with that purpose, especially in some of those early chases? Who knows what could have been? They could have been in the final four instead. Instead, they're on a plane home tomorrow, a discombobulated side. We don't know how many retirements there will be, at least Imran Tahir and JP Dumini, who signed off from limited overs cricket today. Whether Faf Duplessis joins them, it's yet to be seen. And here was the South African captain reflecting on their tournament after a 10-run victory. Yes, obviously we've been very um, disappointed how it's gone, but I've never, I never really felt that behind closed door that, that there was... Um, excuses being made or fingers being pointed at players in the team or coaching staff um, and that's a real positive for me to take away from a, a disappointing tour that the one positive um, by the last two games has been the fact that we we do um, there's more than that we do than just cricket you know that, that means that as a team we, we show great unity um, in tough circumstances and that's when you get tested as a team the cracks can appear and you can really start blaming each other um, and I never felt at this tournament so I mean that is a real positive for me as the captain that that I can say I'm really proud of that that, that things are are right in the team um, obviously performances uh, we weren't up to scratch where we needed to be in the first seven games uh, inconsistent um, uh, but the last two games have been brilliant. Um, we've, we've played some remarkable cricket um, and it's, it's sad that it didn't happen earlier. As for Australia, it was far from their best day with the ball and they didn't do what they needed to do with the bat in a hefty chase. We saw David Warner make his way to a third hundred in the competition. He was magnificent, as was Alex Carey. Arguably, Carey was even better. They lost Finch early, they lost Stephen Smith early and they lost Usman Khawaja to a hamstring injury, which I'll come back to in a moment. But Carey, he continues to up his personal best in each of these games, coming in at number seven. When Stoinis went and Maxwell went, it had to be Carey alongside Warner. And for a while there, they truly gave Australia a chance of pulling off a miracle victory. It didn't happen in the end, but it's not for nothing that Kerry is blossoming at the perfect time. In terms of the broader equation for Australia, this means instead of staying in Manchester, they are off to Birmingham to play England in the second semi-final on Thursday with India coming up to Manchester to play against New Zealand, which would have been Australia's preferred draw. For Australia, that is a game that now has so much riding on it, not just because it's the World Cup semi-final, but it's the old enemy and they're carrying injuries. Marcus Stornis, that side strain, looks to be getting Getting worse. He batted under serious duress today after bowling just a couple of overs. But bigger yet again is Usman Khawaja. He hurt his hamstring early in his batting innings. He retired hurt. He came out later on and played a little cameo before getting out just at the tail end of that chase as the wickets fell around him. But as Aaron Finch said, it's going to be a long way back for Khawaja to get back into this tournament for the pointy end. Usman's not looking great, in all honesty. Um, he's done a couple of hammies before and, and said it, it feels a little bit similar to that. So. Um, in terms of replacements, we haven't had time to sit down and talk about that yet. Um, Marcus is, is just a bit sore on his side and, and not. we'll have to wait for scans tomorrow um, to, to know the, the finer details of it. Obviously, it's, it's tough um, to talk about replacements and things like that when you, when you haven't got the, the full story and the full scan. So uh, we'll, we'll get that tomorrow and, and you guys will know as soon as we do, I guess. A brilliant end to the group stage here at Manchester. It's not worked out for Australia. They're back on the motorway. But gee, two tantalising semi-finals. India, the men in blue, taking on New Zealand here at Old Trafford. Then a massive, gigantic blockbuster of a second semi between England, the host, and Australia. We can't wait to bring it to you on Crick Buzz Centre Stage. Talk to you in a couple of days.